What's up everybody? Welcome to We Play In This Gaming. Today we're playing my garage and we have a new garage. Um so let's go in here. So one do one door goes this way, the other door goes that way. So when you walk in, you walk in that door. When you walk out, you go out this door. They look good on paper. But anywho, um so let me give you a little tour of the shop. So you got the little area. I kind of wanted to keep it like to my garage garage yeah anyhow um i want to keep that but not have the floor raised up and then have it open so you still got the bed you still got the table um we have the engine room uh parts storage up above the doors right there to go up above and then you have your garage so no more driving around to put it in the garage you're already here so and then we got the paint booth slash washroom, sandblasting room. It's all going to be one. I didn't feel like making another another building, plus I ran out of room. So uh, nothing falls to the floor because this is where the old garage used to be. So I don't have to worry about that no more. But other than that... Um, this I'm eventually going to build to a BMW. This I bought from Ford. And it's going to be a flip. Uh, new Mustang. Haven't tried it out yet. Just bought it from the junkyard. Brought it here. Uh, the old Impala. I can't drive because it's messed up. Don't ask. And then I bought a Charger because they said they fixed it. So we shall see. But other than that, I, this is the new homestead. Um, hopefully you guys like it. Okay, so this monstrosity, uh, definitely back half in it. And then we have to do something with this area right here. So, let's just get this thing stripped down, get the wheels off of it. And figure out what what all has to be changed. I understand frame rail is going to have to be replaced. So. But other than that. Like the rear end looks fine. I'm not too worried about that. Okay. So. I don't know what I just did. There we go. Uh, while I'm there, the only reason I took the wheel off is to loosen that. Okay. Now we can take the brake line off because that's going to have to come off to do anything with the body. So. Set up on here. I went with a smaller shelf, which I kind of, I don't know. It's all right. I kind of missed the, like, that style. But I didn't, want it to, I didn't want it to take up too much space, so. All right. Let's get this rear end out of here. Um, better take the drive shaft out. All right, I do this every time. I'm, I'm on a lift. Let's use it. But yeah, this shop's nice. I don't have to worry about squishing cars and you know that stuff really bugs me. But this garage is definitely not. It don't matter which way you set this drive shaft, it rolls. Uh, maybe uh, we'll kick it. Oh. All right. I'm going to stop. We'll end up kicking it. It'll roll anyways, but. Okay. Let's finish taking this out. All 
and make a pile of parts that we're going to reuse. And like I said, everything on this is pretty well good. I just have to take it all off to get to what I need to replace. But I don't know where he gets these cars from, but I kind of enjoy fixing them because you never know what, you know, he sends you a picture and then you're just like, okay, I'll buy it. And then you get it and it's like, all right. <laughs> so I didn't realize it had front end damage. I thought it was just back end. All right, let's get the exhaust out of the way. I know you guys are probably wondering why I'm not working on the, the Mustang or whatever. Because uh, I'm kind of broke. I mean, I'm not broke broke, but this is going to set me pretty good to work on that one, that one, and that one. So, okay. Um, yeah, I guess the fuel tank's here. Um... Yeah, there it is. That's got to go in the dumpster. I take the fuel line off. If I could even see it. Oh, it's on the other side. All right, let's, let's just get this stuff out of my way. I'm done at it. I'm already tripping over it. But, you know, I'm just going to take my time with these videos and just make them the best I can build-wise, you know. It's a car building game. It's, I mean, yeah, you can drive them around and stuff if they work, but me running mods most of the time, they don't very work. Um... I don't hand like that one that one right there that was supposed to be my hoopty daily driver and i can't even drive it so but it is what it is um okay let's see anything and everything i can bumble let's try it. this is obviously the bumper uh w bumper i uh, could not tell you where the tailgate is i think it's somewhat Okay, that's where the tailgate is. Uh, yeah. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's, that's part of the frame. Okay, so I'm not worried about taillights. We're just going to chop that off. Without a cutoff wheel, that's good. Good. We're off to a good start on that. Okay, let's de-skin this bad boy. Sure. Let's get to the inner frame. I believe I have to open the door. Alright, there's that pile of parts starting there. I don't know. I, I'm going to try to bend those frame rails back with the hammer and see if it will. I doubt it, but. Well, we're going to find out together. So. All right, now inner, inner stuff. Oop. That's obviously the frame rail. And there's those. This is actually pretty easy. Uh oh. What else is going to fall off? I have no idea.
There we go. Okay, looks like the El Camino got back from a demolition derby. All right, now let's see if we can bend this back with a hammer. If not, we're cutting them off. Uh, hammer. And that is a negative. I kind of figured that, but you don't know until you try. All right, can I move these in? No. Speed down, move them in. So I think that's about goodish, gooder. Yeah, it's right there, I believe. Bear with me. It's been a it's been a while since I've done an El Camino, so definitely been a while. Yeah, there it is. Now let's just fly off. All right, we have successfully cut off the back half of the El Camino. Okay. All right, let's get this bad boy back together. Um, El Camino, Jesse, body. Okay, so we need the middle brace. Da, 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 da. Rear quarters. The floor is gonna explode all these parts. But first hand working in the shop, um, I've been uh, like working on this building, so trying to get it up ready for you guys. And you know, I mean, it's just it's nice, you know, nothing falls to the floor when you drop it, it's it's lovely. Um, need a rear brace, and then da, 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 where's the frame rest? No, nope, that's truck. I blew past them. Wow, I did blow past them. Big time. All right, let's get these on there. Uh, so, yes. Um, new news to the mod server, or mod part of the whole thing um thanks to everybody that's trying to leak and uh leak the games or the mods and stuff uh it is now on a patreon account so now you have to pay money so um yeah so if you want early access to the mods i will put a link down to the description of the patreon account and if you want them it's going to cost. So. I guess you could say the fun and games are over now. So. But I had a feeling it was eventually going to come down to that. Um, it is what it is. So, all right, here's that, uh, I think I have everything on that point. Um, the whole Patreon is not me, it is my garage testing server. Um, I believe it's like $4 a month, don't quote me. So, if you want it bad enough, you gotta pay the four dollars a month. So, all right, enough of talking of that. Let's get building. Um, yeah, I don't. Ex I mean, I've been so caught up in this garage. It's. I've been trying to keep track of everything that's going on. 
uh if you're new to the channel welcome and thank you um yeah uh, i've been busy i've been cold miserable working outside every day that's me sums my week up And yeah, that's about it. Work, freeze to death, come home, build garage, go to sleep, repeat. Okay, I think that's it. Man, this thing's I forget how or I forgot how easy it is to build these things. All we got to do is get the, uh, I mean, obviously finish the back half of this, but get, get the back half, get it back together, get her in paint. I mean, I got to fix the front, but yes, I probably have missed the welder once or two, but you know, don't count. Come on. Don't play with my emotions like that. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Um, yep. All right. So now we got to do. Don't need that. Don't need that. Tailgate. Is it its own one unit now? I thought there was a piece you had to buy and. I don't know. That's all one unit now. Wow. I learned something today. Oh, I'm thinking of the truck. That's what I'm thinking of. But yeah, this thing's just going to be a, a flipper. Um, I'm going to paint it. Try to get it five star everything. I guess I got to start remembering to put these tools back so I'm not looking all over the place for them. Um, we're going to go over to the, uh, oh, what do they call that? Service center. There we go. Glad I got that out of the way. Um, we're going to go to the service center. We're going to sell it there. Once we get five stars, uh, max profit is what I'm trying to do. Like I said, I'm ten thousand in hole on this. It's it was worth twelve. So I mean, I was I'm not losing any money, but if we're gonna start building cars like I want to, we're gonna have some cash, cause it's not cheap. I think it's only one. All right. Probably have to take those back out, and put bulbs in them. So I might as well buy that. Right now, if it ever loads, I clicked accessories. I guess I am. All right, there we go. Uh, body, I need a rear bumper. Check. I need a field door. I believe that's it. Going up. Oh, no, you don't. No, 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 no. That happened to Inskeep, too. Um, so I hope I don't lose my save game. Because that was happening to him. And he's losing saves left and right. I hope I don't. I'm going to be livid if I do. So. All right. Uh, I guess I could throw the fuel door in there. Yeah, I mean, I'm not the only one, like, the whole modded side of this thing is getting out of hand, like, nothing's working right with the game, so. 
to keep content coming for you guys and try to do this stuff is going to be a challenge from here on out. So, I don't, if they don't fix it soon, I don't foresee a whole lot of people playing this game. Because it is, it is a headache at this point now. I mean, yes, we could play vanilla and play just fine. Maybe. I don't even know if that. I, I haven't played vanilla in a long time, so. But I'm going to stick it out as long as I can until I get frustrated enough and be done with it. So. If you guys want to see more of it, make it known. Go show some love and support. Hitting the like button. Watching the videos all the way through. Commenting. I mean, if you want it to keep going, that's what it's going to take. So, I mean, I know a lot of you watch have watched my channel because of my garage. I understand that. And that's why I've been so loyal. So loyal to this game. So. We got a lot of you guys into playing this game and stuff. I just. I'm here for you guys' moral support more than anything. But. I. It just a lot of stuff's got to get done. Um. I don't know. I don't know how they're going to do it. I don't know how they're going to pull it off, but. I mean, me personally, I don't care if this fender has a gap or the brake pedal is sticking through the firewall. I don't care about any of that. Make this thing drivable so I can drive it down. So I, you know, I can't even have fun with it. Okay. We're going to build cars and that's it. I can't drive nothing. That's one thing that's got me really irritated the most. We're going to, we're going to build new cars, but we're not going to fix that one. We're starting to work on this one. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of me ranting and raving, but. We just, we got to get playable cars. I don't care. You know, I mean, obviously the parts have to go on the car. You have to be able to play with them. I got that, but. I'm not worried about gaps. I'm not worried about rough surfaces. You know me, I'll drive a car with no brakes. Or a steering wheel halfway hanging off or it's twisted, but I don't care. Give me that. Okay. So, since I've been ranting and raving, I've been clicking through this left and right. And that is that. Now, can we do anything with this? Oh. Okay, that's good. That's a good sign. I don't have to change the inner, inner panel. So I'm probably going to have to change the core support. Was that a course? No, that's core support. Let's... Yeah. I don't... I don't think this no I sold it anyway, so I don't I don't have a sledgehammer no more. It, it it's not working anyway. So all right, we're gonna have to get the front panel piece. The, obviously the gorilla fender bumper. I'm not worried about license plate. Alright, let's take this off. Um let's get in here and see what we're doing. Add this to the pile of parts. All right, fender's got to come off. Duck. Duck, duck, goose. All right, this one's somewhere in here. Maybe. There it is. Okay. Cross fingers, hope that I don't... Yeah, I don't have to. That's the frame that came back. Thank you. Okay, hey, that's the grill. Hopefully it's the whole piece. I doubt it. 
Um, there we go. That piece is junk. Okay, so obviously new core support. Radiator looks fine. So we'll just tear that out one unit. Maybe. Oh, hold on. Loosen something I don't. There's that. Can I get to the other one over here? Got it. Whoa. Got that one. This one should be right. Yeah, I can get to that one. All right, cool. All right, let's set this over here and crash into it later. All right, front clip, you come with me. There we are. I don't know. I could probably reuse these lights, but I'm not going to worry about it. Now, while I'm here and I can get my teeth right into this, let's pull this battery out and see if we can uh, reset it. There we go. There. That. Now my OCD can sleep at night. Okay, front end. So we need to grill. Need that. Need front bumper and what else we need? What else we need? Right? No, left fender. There we go. We'll get the headlights here in a minute. Uh, yeah, I could have went went and bought junkyard parts, but technically, right now, I don't have a vehicle worth anything to drive. I don't. Until I come up with something, I'm not driving nothing. So I wanted that to be. I mean that's it's cool. It was fine. Uh before I saved it. After I saved it, it is undrivable. It wants it just feels like it wants to flip over all the time. Can't even drift it. Can't do nothing. There right, we go. But I will say one thing it is nice. I don't have to worry about fishing parts out of the floor. Okay. All right, let's throw this in here. Why I don't have a front piece on it. Uh, wrench. Well, let me get to it. I tried. All right, bumper. There's that. And the front mask. Now, she's ready for body shop. We'll just have to tape off the, uh, um, the bumper and stuff. Tape off the bumpers and then we'll paint it. I wish. I wish we could put tape stuff off and do all that, but we can't. So, okay. Now this is, I guess you could say halfway done. I mean, I still got to paint it and stuff, but um, I just don't know if I want to do, I think in paint booth, 
it's a hundred bucks. It's probably gonna be a hundred dollars in spray cans anyways, so let's back this up. Oh, I forgot about D break. I forgot every time you take the rear end out the e brake comes off. So yeah, we're pushing. Slide to the left. Push to the front. Wow, we are way off. Oh, I I do remember the first time I pushed the vehicle, that's for sure. There we go. Paint booth ready. I mean, I got decent lighting in here. I can see every flaw. Nope. All right. We're going to keep on trucking. Oh, I need the paint code. All right. Any guesses? Um, look past the letter here. 81. B. D C B. There we go. Press this will do. There we go. Now, paint booths work, please. Thank you. Got it. It's another mod that's busted. Uh, it's not busted, but it it has its issues. You gotta once it stops working, you have to redo the game. So, uh, load it or save it, load it, and then get back into it. So. All right, let's get to get to painting here. Man, I love this. I mean, I do love the paint paint booth mod because I remember the struggles of painting a car in the beginning. And when I seen this, I was like, "Oh, I have to have it, regardless. Bugs or not, gotta have it." Like I said, for a hundred bucks, I mean, you're going to end up spending a hundred painting this car. At least five cans. Some of you might be able to do better. That's fine. Yeah, let's get this thing tidied up. Hopefully I get five stars out of this bad boy. I don't see why not. Paint. Paint is four stars. Perfect. You know, it'd help if my uh, builder would have put better lighting in, in here. But, you know, I mean, you give what you pay for. I mean, I can't complain too much. I mean, it was free, so. All right, it's got to be in this box somewhere. All right. I don't think it's the front end piece because I mean this thing shoots through panels. All right, give me five stars. I painted enough. Thank you. Okay, I'll set this here. Have to grab it next time. That's fine. I wish wherever you li that lied, um, it stays there when you save. That'd be nice. Okay, so all we have to do is lights, I believe. And then this thing, this project's done. Ready for the chopping block. So. Hold it. Alright, so I got bulbs. Yes, I need headlight bulbs. I need headlights and bulbs. Alright, accessories. One, two, three, four. Let's 
grab it all. Spit it all up. Oh, I forget. Yeah, I don't have the backpack mod. I put it in for a little bit and then I took it back out. So doing all this moving and um just this whole thing. Okay, I'll set these here for a rainy day. Whoa, there's a Mustang there. Okay, there's that. And then four more. Give me the bulb. One done. Two. I guess I should have took, I guess I could still take the grill out. It'd probably be a lot easier to put these in. I use the wrench anyway, or the screwdriver, so I'm not too worried about it. I know what we forgot to put in. One minor detail. I forgot to put the shocks in. Probably because they're under that pile, I believe. Or did I put them in? I don't know. I was right in the rave. I couldn't tell you. No, there's no shocks in there. Where'd they go? They roll the other side of the shop, probably. Oh, right there. They were in my backpack the whole time. Wow. Tell I pay attention a whole lot. There we go. Uh, okay, so I'm going to have to get the wrench. But let's put the taillights in it. I'll probably still forget that the shocks are in my backpack. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna end up using two toolboxes again. That I I want to try to get away from that. How do you guys get away from using more than one toolbox? Just have one toolbox. I guess that'd be the easiest way. Yeah, there. See? I don't know. I guess I'll figure it out. All right, we have four stars. What is... What condition's bad? I don't know. Scanning my peepers. Um, watch it be something ridiculous. Oh, I know what it is. The trim. It's got to be what it is. Um, all right, this should just stick right on, so... I mean, that's the only thing, unless it's got something bad or, like, wrong with the rear end. Brake pads, shoes, rotors, I don't know. I'm thinking this is what the problem is. Because she's not 100%. Which... Oh. Did they have chrome on the front? It did. All right. So that's this side, I have to get the, oh. Gotta get the left front. All right, hopefully this is five stars. There we go. Nope. Oh, I don't believe there's 
chrome piece on the hood. Is the hood damaged? That's the question. Uh, I don't know where everything's at. Bear with me. Oh, the bundle's in here. Oh, I know what it is. Y'all are probably just screaming at my computer, or the screen right now. I know what it is. Fuel tank. Sorry, y'all. It's, it's been... It has been a long, 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 long week. For me so bear with me trying to get back into the whole deal again <laughs> it just doesn't work anymore all right i guess that's 80 80 gallon i don't think it has to have fuel so i'm not putting fuel in i'm not wasting any more money on this thing i've already spent what two thousand dollars I think it started with nine, so it was seven. I don't remember. I think it was nine. All right, give me five stars. No. Why? What am I missing? Everything looks fine. Besides the fuel line. For some reason, I always forget this. It's just me. It's fine. There it is. Sweetness. Man, this is trash. So we'll just throw this in the pile. I gotta take care of that in a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna tow this to the service. And then I gotta... F I'm just gonna jump over. I'll teleport over there. Uh, but I have to sleep first. This place is not open. There are now. Alright, so normally what I do is I spawn to the grocery store. And then I just fly over there. Because you really, you can't spawn here unless you put this, your like customer sign here. So, okay, moment of truth. It's worth 22.7, which I think that's kind of a little light, but. This is what it is. 29. It's almost 30 grand. I will take it. And I love when I spawn. I spawn right in my front door. So. Okay. Project car is gone. Um. All right. So oh, I think, oh, I don't know. We got to look some of these cars over real quick before I get a game plan of what we're going to do. But you let me know which one you want to do. I will let you know right now. That one right there is ha it has some issues. I don't know if it's even drivable at this point. Um, This one is supposed to be drivable, but we've already done with this. I'm thinking that one. Now I have enough money. I have $35,000. I should be able to build that. It's going to take most of it. Because um, you're literally building the car from scratch. So, And there's nothing on that car besides, what, a rack opinion? Yeah. So you let me know down in the comments what you want to see on that. Um, definitely needs more commenters. Don't be scared to comment. I'm not going to bite, bite your hand off. Nothing. Um, I love comments. You, anything you comment, 
I mean, if it's mod related and how to get the mods, I've already told you in the beginning, you had, you're going to have to Patreon now. So, um, I don't know how else to put that. I've, I've said it in, before in my videos and stuff to the links in the description or anything like that. And I still get a hundred comments of where the mods are. So. I'll say it again, Patreon account to get early access to the mods, or you can wait until it becomes on Nexic, which that could be 10 years from now. So your choice. Uh, yeah. So I'll wait on your guys' comment on comments on these vehicles, which one you want to see. If not, I will just work on them here and there until we get one complete. I, at this point, I don't really know. But I do want to get a drift car going. I want something drivable. Uh, the F-350 is okay. I can't really have fun with this, is what I'm trying to say. Um, that's pretty much drive to the junkyard and drive back. Uh, another vehicle I want to do is the Niv truck. I want to bring that back. I did find that in a barn save. So. I've been digging through barn saves left and right. Trying to see what cars I have. What I don't have. It's been a long. Like I said, it's been a long week. I've been trying out new games. Just, you know, not new games. But trying out different games. For backup plan. So. Because I don't know how much longer this game's going to work, to be honest with you. Um, if you play vanilla, you're fine. Just don't mess with any mods. If you love the game and you want to play it, and you don't want a headache, don't do the mods. So... But to me, I've been playing it long enough. It's not fun if I don't have mods. I can build vanilla cars all day long. It's the challenging part of these builds. Is what I like. That one. If you guys, I mean, I could show you. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, I've sent a video in. Like, see the seat. I used to be able to hop in here, no problem. Um. It's like I'm hitting something right here in the center, which obviously there's a shifter there. I got it, but I can't, if I sit up, it hits something. Now, what, I must paint right there. Well, okay. Um, on these mods in the unity or whatever you want to use to to make them there's a wheel right here so and you'll see what I'm talking about it feels like I'm driving on a wheel okay it's already on the tip oh it gets better just hold on I want to take it easy so I don't wreck it because I have hold on You know, just in case I wreck it, you never know. I'm good at everything. Wrecking, blowing them up. But this thing is... It's definitely one one turn of crashing every time. You know what I mean? Can't drive it. Hey, it's, you turn one way and it, all I'm doing is turning the wheel. So imagine me flying like I normally do. This thing is getting wrapped around a telephone pole. Like I can't even give it gas. It just wants to spin out. They barely even getting into it. I mean, I understand it's got 1500 horse. But I could drift this car in the beginning.
But, hey. They say YouTube's hard, right? No. Yeah. It gets better. So, all right. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you did. I love you guys. I'll see you next one.